architects have been experimenting with the skyscraper typology for decades in response to the global issues of packed cities and the difficulty to provide for the world's 7.8 billion inhabitants living and working in congested metropolitan regions. As a result of this solution, there are now giants roaming the streets. Stay tuned as we take a look at the world's tallest skyscrapers that are currently under construction. Before we go further, remember to subscribe. Starting us off, Burj Khalifa. Dubai's mixed-use development, the Burj Khalifa, also known as Khalifa, is the world's tallest building in three dimensions. Abu Dhabi's ruler, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, christened the Burj Khalifa, formerly known as the Burj Dubai. The interior of the tower was unfinished as of January 4, 2010. The 162-story, 2,717-foot building is home to commercial, residential, and hotel enterprises. The modular construction is supported by a three-lobed footprint that resembles the native Himenocallis flower. Y-shaped towers reduce its wind forces. Wings and outer columns made of concrete support a hexagonal central core. The wings loop back as the tower climbs modifying the contour of the building at each tier and lessening wind impact. The tower's spire is 700 feet tall. Hydraulic pumps lifted the spire of the tower. A 13-foot reinforced concrete mat and 5-foot concrete piles support the tower. Three stories of the tower help the podium and two-story basement, totaling 2 million square feet. The tower's facade compromises aluminum, stainless steel, vertical tubular fins, and over 28,000 hand-cut glass panels. At the top is a public observatory on the 124th floor. Next, Jeddah Tower. The Kingdom Tower, as it was previously known, will house the world's highest observatory. It will also have a helipad balcony with a circumference of 98 feet. The structure is too large to render realistically. Elevations and bird-eye views are the only views that depicts the project. The 10-foot diameter foundation piles have a maximum length of 360 feet. The three-side shard is thin and aerodynamic due to wind and gravity. Tapering increases available or rentable space. The design broadens the base to compensate for the large core size on the tower levels and narrows the core overall, making the top less space-consuming. The shape is uncommon for a skyscraper of this magnitude. The three petals design, which allows extrusions to collide, was inspired by the folded fronds of juvenile desert plant development, gill-like indentations that are visually pleasing. On a pedestal, the building, however, makes gentle contact with the ground. Its plinth integrates it into the city's transportation system. Moving on, Central Park Tower. The iconic New York skyscraper, Central Park Tower, is presented by Excel Development Company. Central Park Tower, located on Manhattan's Billionaire's Row and only steps from Central Park, rises 1,550 feet above the city, making it the world's tallest residential building. This new worldwide icon, built by Adrian Smith and Gordon Gill Architecture, has 360-degree views of Central Park the Hudson and East Rivers, and the whole New York City skyline. Rotet Studios' refined interiors complement these gracious mansions created for modern living at its highest level of luxury. With its spectacular array of services, the Tower Central Park Club ensures an unparalleled lifestyle. The Central Park Club's distinguishing feature is its 100th floor, which has the city's highest private ballroom, dining room, wine bar, and cigar lounge. On the 14th level, the club's service features an outdoor 60-foot pool, sun deck, and cabanas. An indoor saltwater pool, spa with steam room and sauna, and regulation squash course are among the cutting-edge fitness and wellness facilities. The leisure spaces include a private movie theater, a business center, and intimate rooms. The Central Park Club provides a rejuvenating escape into a world to which one's every whim can be catered. Following that, the One Tower. One Tower is a residential super-tall skyscraper under construction along the MIBC in Moscow's Presnensky district. It will be 442.8 meters or 1,452 feet and 9 inches tall when completed in 2024. With 109 stories, after the Lacta Center in St. Petersburg, it will be the tallest skyscraper in Moscow and the second tallest building in Russia and Europe. As a residential structure, it will be the tallest in Europe and second in the world after the New York City's Central Park Tower. The One Tower will also be Europe's first building with more than 100 floors above ground featuring the highest observation deck in Europe on the 100th level. According to a revised urban development plan for a land parcel, the skyscraper site is meant to be 445.33 meters. Nevertheless, the architect of the skyscraper advocated increasing the height of the building to 465 meter, making this building the tallest in Europe. According to current media sources, the total cost of construction would be 49 billion rubles. Next, Johannesburg Carlton Center. The Carlson Center is a skyscraper in Johannesburg's central business district. 
South Africa's commercial metropolis and one of the continent's most important financial centers. Since 1973, the 730-foot structure has been Africa's highest. It was designed by the American firm Skidmore, Owings & Merrill. They invented the skyscraper made of glass and steel. They designed Chicago Sears and Willis Towers and Dubai's Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest structure. The skyscraper is located in an area known for crime and suburbanization. Despite being closed in 1997, the Carlton Hotel is still open. It has offices, shopping, and an observation platform with the views of the high veld countryside and the sprawling metropolis. The Carlton Center, which was built in 1967, is still remarkable. Although the central tower rises more than 200 meters, approximately half of the floor space is underground in a massive commercial complex. The Anglo-American properties built structure is owned by Transnet, South Africa's largest railway operator. Finally, Australia 108. Australia 108, formerly known as 70 South Bank Boulevard, is a residential super tall skyscraper in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. It is the tallest skyscraper in Australia by roof height, surpassing the Eureka Tower and the second tallest by full height, trailing only the Q1. The world-class land development project includes a 317-meter or 1,040-foot apartment complex with 1,100 flats spread across 100 stories. Brookfield Multiplex began construction on the amended Fender Catalides Architects design in 2015, with completion scheduled for 2020. When a low cloud sweeps from the sea, you will appear to be in another world. A drab sky at street level will present itself as a foggy dreamland, a breathtaking sight unseen by those on the ground. Skyrise Residences is presented by Australia 108. So that marks the end of the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment in the section down below. Thanks for watching.